Okay guys, we've got uh, ourselves a small burbot here. Went out tonight, tried a new lake. Um, we got six. Uh, this was obviously uh, the biggest one. We, we, we kept it. The other ones were very small. Um, I'm going to show you just a quick video, or however long it takes video, on how to clean and uh, prepare a burbot. So, first what you want to do is obviously take a sharp fillet knife, make a cut across the top of the head, all the way around, past the front fin, through to that side, flip it over, be continuous. <clears throat> don't go too deep if you don't have to. Got that side there. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it makes it a lot worse. Grab yourself a pair of pliers. Grab the skin, set your thumb up into the gill plate so you can kind of hold on to it a little bit better. Pull back a little bit, it's almost like pulling off a sock. You'll get a little bit of flesh that will stick to it, unfortunately. Just keep pulling. This pulls off fairly easy. So we'll grab some of this belly fat here. Let's see if we can get this with one big pull and it'll pull right off to the very tail fin there. We got the belly. Okay, it started pretty good now. I should be able to do it all in one big pull. Let's give her a go. Okay, well, we got part of it. <clears throat> Let's grab the other side. Same idea. And there we go. Just like that, all the skin is off. So that's what we've got left. Now what you want to do is you want to take this dorsal fin, start from the tail end to the head, pinch it there as best you can. Oops. Let's see if we can't pull that off in one. And of course it's coming off horribly. Let's try this way here. There it goes. So here's your dorsal fin. And you've got your anal fin, same idea, grab it from the base, work your way to the front. Let's see if we can get this one in one piece. Yep, and we got that one too. So there's that stuff out of the way. Now, flip your bird it over. Almost like you're cleaning crappy, the same way I clean crappy anyways, as I go along the rib cage, follow it right down across the spine. So start, you get your spine right there, so straight to the side of it, like that, and just follow it down. So you can probably, might be able to hear me hitting those ribs there, like that. So you want to cut in here, make another little incision up at the head, because we just cut through the skin. So you can see the ribs there, a little bit of blood of course, but just follow them down. It's not a race, the more meat you get on there the better obviously. So we've got that going all the way through, finish our cut through that side. Cutting across the rib cage. We'll get down to the belly here at some point. Cut a little bit 
backwards there. Just like that. We'll pop that through. Oh, that was a female. She's got some egg egg sacs in her there. So same idea as if you're cleaning a trout or salmon or whatever, right off to the tail. So there we have. Oops. One fillet right there. Now what I've been told is to take this and put it in a salt water brine. It gets the rest of the slime out. These are very slimy little buggers. And it takes the, uh, the rest of the blood away. So we'll do the same thing for the other side. And uh, we'll throw this in our little salt water bath for now. And then we'll flip it over and do the same thing. Feels weird going backwards now. I should flip it back over because that feels too weird. Almost got this one. This one's actually going a little bit smoother than the other side. Finish our cut through the head, the neck, the part. Get the last of those little ribs out of there. Almost got this one done. Just follow those ribs down. There we go. <clears throat> There's our second one. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps out. Go out and catch yourself some burbot. They do taste like lobster. This is probably in my top three of uh, a fish to eat right behind uh, walleye and, uh, and crappie. So, there you go. Enjoy it. See you after.